This is Muhammad Suhaldeen from Hyderabad studying in Dnipropetrovsk State Medical University in Ukraine. I came to Ukraine November 5th of uh, 2018. The current situation uh, in Ukraine is is normal. It's not that uh, scary or that horrible or that terrible. Uh, the city is uh, is in peace in is in is in calm. Uh, but few days ago we heard uh, a news about uh, about the people hearing some explosive sounds near the center of the city but we are not sure about what was that what actually was the sound about but uh, some people uh, have to, have reported in the news that reported in the news that uh, it is an explosive sound so uh, the public gathering and public places uh, was closed for few hours Uh, the Indian embassy have recently listed a form which all Indian students residing in UK and must fill it and which consists of some personal information and some uh, general information about the students like uh, which year are they studying in which university which state are they in uh, which state uh, they are from in India and after that form uh, listed from the Indian embassy there is uh, no other decision no other information from Indian embassy here all the indian students here in ukraine are worried because uh, uh, in the end it it might me- met mess up with uh, their studies it might mess up mess up with their lives our parents our family members they are so very so worried about us because uh, what they hear in news is something more exaggerated than what's happening actually in ukraine they call us every day they call us every time uh, they, they heard any news about ukraine the call us just to specify just to get some confirmation what's really happening or nothing has become more expensive or uh, so something like that everything is normal everything is in is in is in the same price the price of everything is safe currently the college status is uh, offline studies we are going to the college every day and uh, it it varies in different cities of ukraine because uh, of varying covid cases here in our city dnipro there is very less covid cases so our university is still open and we are still going to class every day and there is no notice uh, from our college uh, about the war situation but the consultancy of uh, indian students here in ukraine uh, to which i belong uh, they have given a small advice to all the indian students who are living in dnipro to not go out as much as possible unless it is an important work such as college or such as any grocery or shopping etc which is very important don't go out unnecessarily and in the end the only companion for us in a foreign country is indian embassy so we are just awaiting for the decision uh, to do something like we are just waiting for the decision